If you visit downtown Newmarket, you probably know the beautiful converted mills and the quaint shops. But did you notice the historical marker on South Main Street? Buried here is a man considered a town father for Newmarket, a groundbreaker for race in America. Yet many don't know the name Wentworth Cheswill. Wentworth Cheswell, I believe, is like this unsung hero of not only like early New Hampshire, but early America. What resonated with me was that here is this man who's a town father and none of us had ever heard of him. Some residents here in Newmarket want to change that. If anything, like I want my project to get people to say his name and know him. Town resident John Herman is well known around here for being a teacher, performer, writer, and history buff. When he learned that Wentworth Cheswell was considered by some to be the first black man elected to office in America, he made it a project to get the word out with anything from educational comics, a poem, even a Facebook page called Wentworth Cheswell Appreciation Society. The more I dig with Wentworth Cheswell, like, he was just such a good guy. Like, he just committed his, his life to service. While details from the pre-revolution days are hard to come by, especially in the early black community, it is commonly believed the Cheswell family were pioneers in New Hampshire. Richard Cheswell, a freed slave, became the first black man to own land in New Hampshire in 1717 in what is now Newmarket. He married a white woman and had a son, Hope Still. Hope Still Cheswell, considered biracial, was a well-known craftsman around Portsmouth. Two houses he helped build, the John Paul Jones House and Studley's Tavern, still exist today in the port city. In 1746, Hope Still had a son, Wentworth Cheswell. He was considered to be a quarter black. Wentworth, the grandson of a slave, had a formal education and returned here to Newmarket to teach. And in 1768, he was elected constable, the first, it turns out, of many positions. After he was elected, he served his community in some way for every year of his life but one. Uh, he was constable, the school teacher, selectman, assessor. He was the moderator. Wentworth was also an archaeologist, justice of the peace, rode in the committee of safety like Paul Revere, and fought in the Revolutionary War. He was a Revolutionary War veteran. He fought at the Battle of Saratoga, which was America's first victory in the Revolution. Fast forward to present day. John Herman isn't the only one here in Newmarket trying to recognize Wentworth Cheswell. I am an elected official, and so I feel a special bond um, with Mr. Cheswell. Local state rep Charlotte DiLorenzo sponsored a bill to recognize Wentworth on his 275th birthday in April of 2021, partly to carry on that tradition of service. For me, it's an honor to have been elected three times by my townspeople and to have, to have been respected by them much like uh, Mr. Cheswell was. And Newmarket could soon be home to a permanent tribute to the former town constable. In 2020, as many Confederate-themed statues were being toppled around the country, town councilor Jonathan Kuyper had an idea. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be great to be the town that was, that was putting up a monument, you know, not taking one down. Jonathan wants a statue to honor local black history, a statue of Wentworth Cheswell, built somewhere in Newmarket, likely based on living relatives since there are no known images of Wentworth to work from. At the end of the day, 
to me, it doesn't really matter if the face isn't exactly like him. It's it's more a symbol of of what he stood for, and and just a reminder to you know mainly the kids and the students in town that would come here and say, you know, we need to learn about this. We need to remember our past and help it you know um, navigate the future. There is an expression that says it's never too late to learn something. The hope is 275 years after he was born, you'll learn about a grandson of a slave, a patriot named Wentworth Cheswell. If anybody should be venerated and used as inspiration to say, hey kids, this is what a patriot is. This is what service to your community is. This is what, you know, this is what America could be, I think Wentworth Cheswell could, could, be, could be that person to inspire us.